When the truth don't work, you start telling lies. Thought you were down the ride, you weren't down the ride. Caught switching, you were picking. So recently, I had two events that I had to shoot at the same time. And of course, that's just not possible. And I needed another camera to be able to do this. So I reached out to a friend of mine, and what he gave me was a camera that really kind of surprised me. What I have is the Canon T3i. Now this is a entry level DSLR that came out sometime around 2011, I believe. So you're talking about an 11, 12 year old camera. But let me tell you, this thing really did perform unlike I thought that it would. Now when he first gave it to me and I looked at it, I'm thinking, okay, this may work. I might be able to get some decent shots with it. But let me tell you, as soon as I started taking pictures, I knew right away that this thing was gonna be absolutely phenomenal. And it didn't disappoint me. At the event, I didn't have any problem capturing some of the best pictures I've ever taken. So I even decided to take it out and do some professional headshots for a client of mine. And again, the camera just did not disappoint. Now, this is a, a ASP, APC, APSC, APS, y'all know what I mean, APSC, C, AP, yeah, one of those. So it is a crop sensor camera. So it does not perform um, as good in low light as a full frame camera. But again, for me and what I used it for, it didn't have any issues. Now, don't expect this camera to have some of these uh, specs that the R5, the R6, and the R7, and R10, and all these newer cameras that Canon has. This camera is 11 years old, so the autofocus isn't that great, does not have in-body stabilization, so, you know, you're gonna have to contend with that thing if you're not used to it. I've been shooting on Nikon cameras for quite a long time now, and Nikon is notorious for not having the best autofocus, and the camera bodies never had in-body stabilization anyway, so for me, it's not a big deal. I will say that this camera um, is heavy. It is a DSLR, so it's not a light camera like some mirrorless cameras that we're used to shooting with now. So if you've got to hold it for a few hours, it's, it's got some weight to it. But again, for me, not a big deal. Shot on DSLRs, whatever. Now, who do I think that this camera is for? Anybody that wants to take pictures. Anybody who needs a good camera and needs to get some nice quality pictures with some really good colors, this camera is perfect. Now, I believe you can pick one of these up now for somewhere between two to three hundred dollars. Depending on where you look, there may be a little more, maybe a little less. I'll try to find some in that price range and leave them in the description so you guys can check it out. But really, this camera is a well-built camera and it performs well. Now, as far as video goes, I haven't had a chance to really check out the video yet. I do plan on that. If I get that done, then I'll leave it at the end of this video so you guys can check it out. I do not know the specs. I believe it shoots um, 1080p up to 30 frames per second and 720 up to 60 frames a second. Don't quote me. If I'm wrong, then I'll put it on the screen. But if that's the case, then I think that should be plenty, even for videos, even for doing things like these YouTube videos or even vlogging. I had it paired with the Tokina 11 to 16 f 2.8 lens and at 16 millimeter taking portraits with this thing was great. Didn't have any problems. I uh, did a review on that particular lens. I don't know when that video will be out, but if it's out, I will leave a link to it also so you can check that out. But again, guys, the Canon T3i is a very viable option in 2022 going into 2023 for people to check out and really get their hands on a nice camera and get started in photography. So listen, if you haven't subscribed, I want you to go ahead and subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, share this video out. I will be doing more reviews and more vlogging coming up in the new year or this year. Again, depending on when this video drops. I don't know if I'm gonna put it out before the new year or after, but whenever it does, Make sure you guys are subscribed and hit that bell so you know when I drop 
and let's take this journey together, all right? You guys have a happy holiday if it hasn't passed already. And if it has passed, then I hope you had a happy holiday. Peace. All right, guys, this is the footage from the Canon T3i. Does it look good? I think it looks, I think it looks pretty good, man. I think it looks real clean in the screen. Looks like I'm in focus. I don't know how this audio is, though. Y'all tell me how the audio is. Is the audio okay? Is the picture all right? But I think this is a very viable option for people who want to get into vlogging and doing YouTube and all of that kind of stuff, man. The camera seems pretty solid. Um, of course, it's a DSLR, so it is a little bit heavier. But I think it's cool, man. You guys tell me what you think.